So today is a special day. We will listen from very exalted Vaishnavas, Bhaktas around the world, Gurudev. We will well, start. Huh? Well, good. <laughs> I'm for today. Yes. Very good. And um, um, we will start with uh, two special Japanese devotees, Jagannath Mishradas and Gopika Devi Dasi. And our dear uh, Kishori Dasi wanted to introduce them. Kishori Dasi, are you there? Yes, I'm here. We are here. So please uh, give us time to just uh, set up translator, please. Then every Japanese devotee also understand. Uh, who, who is the translator? Today, Annapurna Didi, are you ready to translate? Rade, Rade, I am ready to translate for Japanese. So, thank you very much, our Guru Dev, Sadhu Maharaj, and Jananda Maharaj. I'm very happy that you are coming. Thank you. It's our pleasure, Guru Dev. Jananda Maharaj is also coming very soon. Yes, Jananda Maharaj also come soon, and Kishori also come soon with Manjari friends. Wow, very good. And thank you very much, Niti Didi. Every week, we are so inspired by this program. Japan is a very small and isolated island, but now, you know, we have Many Manjari friends all over universe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Lord is mercy. He made this possible for us. Our future is bright. In the place of Manjari, Dasi Dasi. We are the Dasi of Radhika. Yes. We are Dasi, Anudasi, Anudasi, Anudasi. Oh. <laughs> Trying to be And today, we are happily introduce our best one, um, two of best manjari in Japan. And Jagannatha Mishra Prabhu. And Never this word Manjari. My <laughs> Dasi. Yes. Our <I'm> Dasi. <laughs> so Jagannatha Mishra Prabhu and uh, Gopika Devi Dasi from Japan. She's not and coming. Gopika Devi Dasi. Make nice picture. Say it to them. Um, yeah, first uh, Jagannatha Mishra Prabhu will share. Then Kopita Devi Dasi will share. Oh. And both of two is chanting Maha Mantra 64 rounds every day. And yes. And Jananda Maharaji is very proud of them. And actually, now in Japan, many devotees chant Maha Mantra, 64 rounds also, 32 rounds also. We are so um, proud of our associates and we are very lucky to have this kind of devotees. We are happy to associate them. Right. So, and uh, 
And today, uh, we have not so much time. That's why only two person. We would like to introduce both of all of you, uh, all of you. But if we have a time more next time, we would like to introduce another devotee also. Anyway, today, two devotee. And first, Jagannatha Mishra Prabhu. So, Jagannatha san, skoshi ja, jiko shokai to ato nani ka go jishin no satori o negai shimasu. Jai shirira de. こんばんは。佐渡マハラヤジは、えっ、ー、と、二年前に、えっ、ー、と、その、ムンゲル寺院に行って、ジャガンナータミシラという、大変ありがたい、えっ、ー、と、スピリチャンネームをいただきました。ありがとうございました。Two years ago, I got initiation from s a d u m a h a r a j At that time, I got this wonderful name, Jagannatha Mishra. Thank you very much, Guru Dev. Thank you. Satori to Yoto, Yoshi Deska? Yes. Satori to Yutemo, ma, Satori Madeva, Itemasen Keredomo, Motashina Hanaseruno, as no Mantra Otonaeta, so no Tokino. なんだろうな、結果みたいな、経験みたいなのは話せると思います。まだまだ先になってくるの。Actually, I don't have any realization, so called realization. But I try to share a little bit experience and a vision when I chant Maha Mantra. ジェアナンダがあのグルーデーバから、えー、とマントラを、えー、と大事だよ、あのー、何でした、えーと、バクティやるならマントラだよって、えー、と言われたんです。I heard from ジェアナンダ・マハラジ that if you want to do bhakti, the way is Maha Mantra. バクティを進歩させるならば、なるべく多く。最低16週。でもできるなら64週をした方がいいよと言われました。He said, if you want to your bhakti make advance, then you should chant every day at least 60 rounds. But if you can, 64 rounds is better. それで私もどうせあのやるなら64週にチャレンジしようと思って始めたわけです。そう、I thought if I try it, then let's challenge this 64 round, then I start it. そして64週を唱え始めてから、えっ、ー、とね、すごい変わったことがあったんです。Then after I started to chant 64 rounds every day, then some miracle happened in my life. えっと、えー、いつものように、えっ、ー、と、朝3時ぐらいに起きて、2時間半マントラを唱えた後に、every day, I woke up at 3:30 a.m., and maybe two hours something, I chanted Maha Mantra. その後にいつものようにキッチンに行ったわけです。そうしたらば、妻がいつものように朝食の支度をしていたんです。And after that one day, after I chanted Maha Mantra like daily, normal life, and I went to kitchen, then my wife was cooking as daily life. それはもう本当にそれはもう日常の本当にもう三十八年ぐらい続けてくれていることだったんですよね。でもその時、it's very, it's very normal. So she she keep this custom for thirty three, ah、uh, sorry, thirty eight years old something. But at that day, その日は本当にその光景が
突然何か違うものあの日常の生活が突然その妻がえっ、ー、とその料理をしている光景がすごい特別の姿に見えたわけです。But especially at that day, this vision which my wife is cooking was totally different what I saw. その時に地球上に、まあ、70数億人あのいると思いますけれども70数億。Um, so, you know, in this earth,、um, there are uncountable, so many, much, much species are there. なぜこの人が私のために作ってくれるのかという、もう日常の光景なんですけども、それをすごく感じました。なぜなんだどうしてみたいな。But at that day, I felt strongly. Why this lady is cooking for me? それがね、すごく衝撃的だったんですよね、私にしてみれば。なんてこれ、あ,のありがたいことだっていう。It was for me very strongly shocked, and I felt it's very thankful things. そう思った瞬間に、こう周りを見たらば、とにかくその家も、すべてのものが何かこう特別なものに見えたわけです。Then, at that moment, I saw my house and furnitures, and which is very special and specific things. It's totally different view than before. で、いつも日常のものの中に、日常っていうのは当たり前だけれども、逆に当たり前の中に、すごいものがあるんじゃないかというのに気がついたわけです。And I got to realization, you know, daily life is just normal, but in this normal things, there are many special things. それまではあの精神界っていうのは、なんかこう宇宙の彼方か、空の上という感じがしてたんですけれども、その時に。Before, before I thought, And the spiritual world is、uh, some like a science fiction or very, very far away from this earth. But. その経験から、精神界というのは、目の前にこう、偏在してるというか、目の前にあるもんだっていうことにすごく気がついたんです。But after that, I understood that. The spiritual world is here, which is just no in normal life and everywhere is in spiritual world. 普段なぜ気がつかないかというと、きっと物質界と精神界が混在してて、物質界の方にあの目がいっていた。それをマントラを唱えることによって、その時は精神界に。つながったんじゃないかという感覚ですね。What I felt is that normally we couldn't understand here the spiritual world. Why? Because material things and spiritual things are mixing in this world. But at that time, why I can understand here is also totally spiritual world means Maybe to chant Maha Mantra make connected me with the spiritual world. そういうわけで、あのマントラを唱えることによって、常にその精神界の、まあ、なんだろうな、それにつながれるかなということで、あのうん、それをすごく強く感じましたね。That's why I strongly Realized to chant Maha Mantra makes me always to keep connection with the spiritual world. Bhakti が愛の実践ならば愛の実践は何をするかというと If Bhakti means loving action, then what we should do? 
、目の前のことを、すごくこう、細かく大事にしていくという気持ちが大事じゃないかなと。日常を日常として見るんじゃなくて、日常の中にありがたいという感謝を見ること。We should see always thankful in our daily life. Daily life is full of thankful things. Always there are special things. Just treat nicely in front of me. これはジャヤナンダ・グルデーバーがいつも私たちに教えてくれていることなんですけれども、過去は関係ない。その日を思いっきり生きなさい。それもクリシナ、ラーダー・ラーニー、バイシナバを大切にして、身近なものを大切にすればいいんだよっていう、それが少しこう、分かったような気がしたんです。ジャナナマハラージ、オフリー・ティーチ・アースザク。リブ・イン・ナウ。パスト・イズ・ノー・ミーニング。ジャスト・リブ・イン・ライフ。リブ・イン・ナウ。As much as you can, then just do it nicely and kindly in front of you. This is what I understand more and more than before. まあそういう感じですけれどもね、日常の中にすべてがあるんだよって、目の前のことを一つずつ大切にすることが大事だっていうことを気がつきました。I understand. There are everything in daily life. Just to do daily life nicely is important. Like this. Okay. 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 あの私はもう本当に経典の勉強をしなければいけないんですけれどもなかなか難しくてできないんですけれども。So this is my last words that I felt, I feel, I feel that I need to learn study Shastra more, but 私の大好きなの私の,私の大好きな一節があるんです。それは、uh, So, but, but, sir, but this is the one of my favorite sloka. So, it is, I will be able to do it. 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 そうすれば、主の聖なる皆を常に唱え続けることができます。これは私の本当に人生の、これから人生の宝です。トゥナーダピースニーチェーナ、タロリバーサヒシュヌナ、アマニナマナデーナ、キルタニア、サダハリ。This s l o k a is one of my treasure in my life. Very nice. Thank you very much. What you are working in day to day life? Anna さんの通訳聞こえてますか<笑>ああ、OK。えっと、今どんな感じで日常生活過ごされていますかえっと、ひたすらマントラと、あとはその愛の実践って言って、まあ結局、周りの人から大事にする。人に気を使わせないようにしたりとか、とにかく人に、あの、なんだろうな、優しくするとか、そういう、あの、なん、なんて言ったらいいんだろうな、愛情をかけるというより、とにかく人のために頑張ろうという。うん、それが今一番心がけていることです。What? I am doing now is just to chant mantra as much as possible. And I try to treat the person who are around me nicely 
just in front of me, there are people then give kindness from me. This is what am I doing? I am doing now. Treatment you do. What size? I will think of what, what treatment. Which type of treatment? Uh, just, just treat means give kindness and serve for them. Very beautiful. It's good, it's beautiful. You have a children? お子様はいらっしゃいますか。二人あのいます。一人あのチトラです。I have two daughters. One daughter is Chitora, who got initiation from Sadhu Maharaj in Brindava. Wow. Janana Maharaj, any comments? Please. So, we will be doing bhajan in Japan. Wow. So, he's following instruction of Guru Dev uh, nicely. So that is the result. So this is the mercy of Guru Dev, Sadhu Maharaj. I think you want chance to him that he can grow the chanting. And live in the chanting. And how much he can go deep in realization. That will be a very good example in Japan. Not need to learn many things, Sastra. Only the principle we have, he has to know. And chanting, he should be the major subject for him. How much he can go. If he has a test, he can do it. He can more deep go in chanting. And I see he is always chanting. Sitting and talking with us, but he is in chanting. Very special. So, I'm proud of you. Arigatouzaimasu. Yeah. I mean, you teach him how to improve in your saru bhavi and how to keep in the form of the teaching of Chaitanya. What is his teaching, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? And Rupa, Raghunath, Rupa, and Sanatana. This subject we have to practice. Mahaprabhupada, first introduction, relation, and devotional practice. And Sarup Siddhi. He will prove the example of that teaching. So you have to have that teaching. Uh, he listened from Annapurna Didi by Japanese. Okay. 
。なでなで。Thank you very much, ジャガナタミシラジ。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。こちらこそ。ラデラで。ありがとう。I'm very, very happy. To see you. I'm happy. I want to see your wife. She's coming, right? I'm happy. Ladder, ladder, Maharaji. Thank you for always. Thank you very much. So, g u r u d e v yeah, and g u r u d e v and s u n i t i Didi. So, We miss j a g a n n a t h Mishiraji, but、uh, we would like to one more very nice devotee from Japan. Is this okay now? Second person? You want to say something? Yes. じゃがなたみしらさんコメントも大丈夫ですか。大丈夫。オッケー。大丈夫。はい。じゃあ、ごきかさん、ご準備お願いします。なお、ウィーウドライク。ごきかデイビーだし。she's also chanting sixty four rounds every day。and じゃあ、七原寺リコメント her to introduce both of all。じゃあ、しりらで。Could you make her nicely、uh, to show? Who is it? Gopika Devi Dashi, Michael. Bakiko. Gopika. She has not put her camera on.、Uh, she's, she's on camera from my view. Gopika Devi Dashi, Michael. Ah,、uh, oh, okay. Thank you. I was thinking of my Gopika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gopika is everywhere. Thank you. Jai Shri Rade. Kishori, are you now? My niche to you to just to just to just to are now. Can I? 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 Okay, so actually,、um, so they are trying to every day 64 rounds, but some busy day,、uh, she, they are chanting 32 rounds. Sorry, my misunderstanding. But、uh, they are very good examples. Is this okay, Jayananda Maharaj? Thank you very much. Gopika san, do do, hanashi kudasai. Rade, rade, kiko imasu ka? Could you hear me? My spirit, spiritual name is Gopika Devi Dashi. Kishori san, dewa, yoroshiku o n e g a i s h i m a s So, this is the name. What is the name? 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 ちょっとびっくりしたんですけれども。When I heard the recommendation from Jayananda Maharaj, I felt very surprised. うん、でもここは多分、まあ、イエス・グルデーブっていうところなんだろうなと思って今回、ぜひよろしくお願いしますということで、今回あの、本当に私のそんな大層な素晴らしいシェアではないんですが、シェアしたいと思います。But when I heard it, I understood I should hear say, yes, good day.Then 
I accepted his offer happily and I tried my best. I tried my best. で、そうですね。特に本当に何も話せることは考えてきてなくて、うまく多分考えても話せないと思ったので、思ったことを今日そのまま話していきたいと思います。Actually, I didn't prepare anything, but what I feel now, I share now. え、私がバクティに出会ったのは 2020年に入ってすぐのことでした。で、え、その、ね。When I met Jananda Maharaj March in 2020 and I started to chant Maha Mantra May of 2020。で、その年の暮れに なんて言うんでしょう。お返しというか還元していたらいいのかっていう悩みにぶつかりました。And I felt some problem or deep thought. Why I'm studying bhakti and how can I return some something and to learn bhakti? In the last of December 2020。ね、その時にやっぱり思ったことがまず聞く唱える思い出すということをジャーナンダグルデーブはよくおっしゃっていましてそれとえっとトマントラを唱えれば唱えるほどできれば64週ということをおっしゃっていました。And my conclusion was that Shravana, Kirtana, and just listening and chanting and reading. And especially Jananda Maharaj said to chant Maha Mantra strongly. え、それで、その時の私には、まず私は、えっと、普段家事と子育てをしています。それしかできません。and uh, I am just a normal housewife. I have a children and uh, I take care of home. This is, this is me, just it's very simple lady. なので、今私にできることはその聞く唱える思い出す。で、とにかくマントラを唱えるしかないなと思って唱え始めました。then my conclusion is that just listening, chanting, remembering, and especially I want to try chant Maha Mantra as much as possible. Mantra を 64週唱えるようになって、正直大きな変化はそのよく一週唱えたからちょっと唱えただけで全然周りが変わったっていう方もいらっしゃるんですけど正直私はそれがあまり感じられませんでしたAfter I started to chant Maha Mantra 64 rounds but I didn't feel so much change As a person, some person says I felt a very big change even though this person chant only one time but I didn't feel any so much change even though I chanted 64 rounds. うん、そのマントラを唱えて何も変化が感じられないっていうのはやっぱり私自身が汚れてるからかまあまだまだマントラの数が足りないんだなと思いましたでもとにかく続けることだと思って続けましたまあ、まだまだマントラの数が足りない
why I didn't feel the change even though I chanted 64 rounds. Maybe I was so dirty, I was so sinful. That's why I couldn't feel change. Anyway, what I can do is just to chant Maha Mantra. That's why I try to just chant Maha Mantra. Continue to just continued to chant Maha Mantra. Just. でそうするうちにマントラが自然といつもこう頭の中というか心の中に流れるようになってマントラをもう常に思ってる思ってるというんですか唱えている状態になりました。And after that, Maha Mantra is always flowing inside me and Automatically, Maha Mantra is going on inside me. So, I think that 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 I t And about the remembrance, before I didn't have any vision, but by listening to Jananda Maharaj's Harikata and chanting, I had some vision about Radha Mohan Lila、um, by my way. えー、マントラの数何周唱えているかとそしてその結果どういう変化があったかというシェアがありました。And recently in Japan, there are one class by Jayananda Maharaj. This sharing tema is how much chanting and what is this result? <笑>今,今ダメお休み<笑>すいません、えー、そうです正直マントラの数を人に言うっていうのはちょっと抵抗があったんですけれどもでもそのシェアによってどうしてマントラを唱えているのかどういうふうに本当に変わっていったのかっていうことを改めて振り返る機会になりました。アネストリー I didn't want to tell how much chant I'm doing. But by this sharing, it's good for me to see what's happened to me and what is the purpose of my chanting. でちょうどそのシェアがあったしばらくしてから、夫に、最近こう行動だったり言動が変わったねっていうふうに言われたんです。And after this sharing, my husband Said to me, your behavior is change, your behavior change than before. で正直、私はそんなに変えてるつもりはなかったんです。常にありがとうっていうふうに何かあれば言ってたし、まあ、仕事で疲れていればお疲れ様って声をかけたり、以前と変わらないつもりでした。あ、Honestly? I didn't feel any change.、Um, before, I also said for husband, so just thank you, or if my husband felt tired, so please take care like this. So before, I did the same things. But. でも、多分以前は当たり前だと思ってたことが、なんでしょう、主人がこう頑張って働いてくれてるから、バクティができてるそして家族がこう幸せに平和にこう暮らしてられるというかいろんなことにこう感謝の気持ちが以前よりも溢れてることに気づきました。Before I saw it is normal, but after I started chant Maha Mantra like this, I realized this is just a thanks to all because 
Why I can keep this bhakti life? My husband work nicely and maintain family nicely. That's why I got to this occasion. Then I automatically feel thank you for husband. ま、周りの人だったり、いろんな人にこう感謝できる自分がいて、正直それを本当に気づかなかったので、自分自身こう変わっていってるんだなってことに気づきました。I didn't notice. I changed. But now I understand. So because I felt always thanks to my circumstance and uh, around the people. So I changed now. えー、そうですね。それとともに、パクティを始める以前の私は人と付き合うのが正直、まあ、いろんな過去の経験からあまり好きではありませんでした。before I started to back the honestly, I didn't like make relationship with others. でもバクテを始めてマントラを唱えるようになってすごくたくさんの仲間ができましたそしてバクタ以外の方のとの関係もそんなにバクタ以外の方とのそのコミュニケーションというかそんなにないんですけどもすごくこううまくいくようになりましたバクアフターアイスタティッドマちゃんとマハマントラ then I got many friends of Bhakta. I got a nice association of Bhakta. And even though not only Bhakta, but also other people can make be nice relationship. Before I felt fear to communicate with others. I felt fear to communicate with others. Person who understand me, but honestly, this kind of person sometimes uh, was and uh, inside heart is opposite. もちろん私がすごくその英語がない綺麗な人間ではもちろんないんですけどもそういう人と接した時にすごくこうなんて言うんでしょう疲れてしまう精神心ともにものすごく疲れてしまっていたんです。of course, I have, I had ego, but actually, um, this kind of person makes, made me tired. でも、なんて言うんでしょう。うん。こう頭で考えないで自然と交際ができるようになって、それが今すごくなんて言うんでしょう。充実した、充実しているというか。But mm. now, I'm not, I don't use so much mental or thinking, and automatically, uh, like a freely make relationship nicely, and I feel friendship more freely than before. そして一番大きかったことは、私は うーん。何もできない人間、むしろ今も何もできないんですか。自分に本当に自分が好きではないというか、自分に自信がなかったんです。And my biggest change is like this. Before I didn't like myself and I understood I am a no meaning person. え、私は今は旦那さんのに守られてて、結婚する前は親に守られてました。自分自身できちんと自立したことは多分正直ないと思います。
and I didn't trust myself always. For example, before marriage, my father maintained me, and now my husband maintained me, means I never became an independent person. 何か大きな、大きい、なんて言うんでしょうかね。うん。あの、うん。なんて言うんでしょう。経験があったりとか、するわけでもなく、本当に何もなかったんですけれども、でも、それでもいいんだっていうふうに、自分自身を受け入れられるようになりました。I didn't have any big experience or some honor. I honestly didn't have anything, but I can accept myself as am I now. And I feel now I can live daily life as am I naturally. これは本当にマクティやグルデーブのおかげだと思ってます。This is a mercy from マクティ and グルデーブ。<笑>うん、ありがとうございます。Thank you very much. Very happy. Very happy. 通訳聞こえてますか ?Thank you so much. Name has big s u c c e s To keep you in now. And when you are in now, then positive vibration is h a t And this vibration is the vibration of name to keep you in now. One sadhu, <coughs> I'm listening, he is telling what is name. Name chanting is I m listening myself that name by chanting. My tongue is moving, my ear is listening because this name is vibrating inside me, and this is the vibration. Where no negative energy can spread. And second thing, when this vibration is going on and on, then my mind becomes peaceful. So he stopped disturbing us and he wants to follow this positive vibe. Then this positive vibe, when the mind starts following, is a very surprising thing happens. And it takes time to the mind to follow. Before what not following, that is the g u r u d e m a r s i that he is cleaning our. Wheat, what grow with the seed, that wheat will be cutting. And when the wheat is not there, then plant is t a r t growing. When the plant g r o w then do they keep the p a n t i n g to protect the plant. So this is the process going on. In every living being. So this takes little time to progress and plan. 
and when it becomes grown up the strong, then I think do they like do they? It happens in everyone's life. So name is the only way to fast going in life. No? Thank you. With the mercy of those that you got my face to me. Don't be Another Maharaj, any comments, please? <laughs> so I met her, and uh, at that time she was very, what do you say, very humble mood and also a little bit uh, scared, a little bit afraid. Other people, he a little bit afraid with other devote, other people. And uh, so after chanting, she changed slowly, slowly, and also quickly. Now she did not so much afraid of anything because Maha Mantra uh, protecting her and helping her. And we are surprising many devotees start chanting and uh, if we chant more and more and then uh, surrounding family members a friend also change quickly this is very much amazing this is uh, radharani's mercy uh, namapab's mercy and gurudev's mercy so we are uh, we are uh, we are seeing many incident, many devotee is changing quickly. This is really Guru Kripa. That's uh, I I could say. Thank you very much. We are very yeah. lucky. With associate Sadhu Maharaj and Jananda Maharaj. Who is the husband of Gopika? What is the name? Uh, her husband uh, is not to uh, now not to practicing bhakti, but uh, slowly, slowly, uh, he is uh, uh, more favorable for us. Uh, well. Yeah. But uh, her husband is a very, very capable person. Uh, he's taking care of family very, uh, very much yeah. nicely. Very good. That's very good. Thank Thank you very much, Govika Devi Dasi Didi, and thank you very much, Jananda Maharaj. Suniti Didi, thank you very much, and all, all of the devotees, sisters and brothers, thank you very much to give us this occasion and time. We are very happy to introduce yes. uh, to all of our associates mm -hmm. today. And maybe next week, another miracle will come. Thank you for all of your blessing for Japan and all. Jai Sri Rade. Jai Sri Rade is so beautiful. Thank you. Always it is an inspiration to listen from others who are sharing their feelings and experience with Maha Mantra all over the world. And especially now in Japan, where is uh, the Radha Dasi Bhakti Revolution? <laughs> we are very proud of you. Thank you very much. And uh, 
we want to continue with the mantra experience and i i would like to um invite our dear raghunandas who is now in monge mandir he want to share something about his mantra experience radhe 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 sorry i must take it the camera here sorry sorry <laughs> thank you so much my dears wow as man as man gucken das alles so okay so yeah so first of all i want to thank you very much from the bottom of my heart to give me that wonderful opportunity to talk about mantra meditation and the experience in mantra thank you so much suniti thank you so much jainan and maraj and all presence and actually this is my life uh mantra meditation is really my life i can tell that from the bottom of my heart this is what i love to do and uh what connects me immediately i had once experience i want to share with all of you that was in a moment when there came a sad news to me a very sad news personal sad news and i was like in the first moment i was a little shocked at the same time i that you have to be always positive right so everything is positive so i took my japa in the hand here like this and i chanted and it was gone immediately it is so powerful the mantra meditation and another time i was with the dentist and uh, he said you need anesthesia for this treatment i said no i chant mantra you really you really do that he said yes i said yes i will do so i chant this mantra and nothing no anesthesia no chemics nothing only mantra and that's why i feel you can experience it everybody of you had experience of the mantra because the first thing is what happens it's your chat your life will change that's the first thing what happens when you chant mantra life changes it's automatically you are not any more so much interested in worldly um worldly affairs or worldly attachments but you feel something is happening in you and then once i was sitting at the lotus feet of sila sila maharaj and we said he recited a verse and i tried to remember that it's a long time ago i hope i find it in my vocabulary yeah here it is here it is namo chitane Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha and Chaitanya was translated actually it's consciousness but they was translated with loving ecstasy he said mantra meditation is loving ecstasy and we were sitting and we and he said now we chant all together and then we chant it all together we can do now also very nicely breathing in breathing in very deeply and chant hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari hari Да, вас слышно, слышно вас Андарани, Хари Кришна. So now I come to my first experience I have. A very deep and nice experience. In one mangal article 
the door closed in front of me after the Mangaladis. We chanted all together. A few people were there, I think there were two or something. <laughs> and the the, Mangala, the the door the door closed, Chainanda Maharaj, the door closed like this. And I was thinking, wow. That door closes now. But if I would come the first time, I would not know what is behind that door. But I saw it before. So what happened now came the next, next feeling in my heart. This is like that door which closed was for me, the left side of the door represented the past. And the right side of the door represented the future. So when past and future closes us up, when we only live in past and future, then the door is closed. But when we live in the here and now, the door opens and we can clearly see what happens behind the door. Yeah. Very nice. And, and that is the transcendental experience. And that door opens when we chant. And then we can see all the beautiful decorations Rasa Lila and Chema Priya made, and Gopina, the flower decoration, and uh, Chakshu. Chakshu is there? Rade? Always there. Chakshu. Without and Chakshu spectrum. How you can see why? Chakshu is always living. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Chakshu has to work something today. He said he could not come, but Gurudev said Chakshu is yeah. the, the means the vision. So the vision. Chakshu Jame Jame Yes. So this was really a nice experience, I tell you, and it was so vivid. It was so clear. And then I, the next next moment, I thought, why we do so, why we do something else than chanting. Why we have to do something where we always fall in danger that the door closes. But we always would chain, chant. And then I remembered at the same time, a very good friend of mine, he left already the body. And we did a lot of things together. His name is Aindra. And one time we were sitting together after Kirtan and he said to me, you know what? Material life starts when you stop chanting. Wow. These are vivid experiences, my dears. Everybody can experience it. So as soon as we leave our job away, or as soon as we stop chanting, then be sure that there is some material development in your mind. Mm -hmm. So chanting is so important. And the mantra, the word mantra, is actually of two syllables, manaha, mind, and triate means liberation. So how can we liberate our mind from all the different anxieties which might take place in the mind? And that's chanting. That's why we say mantra. And the, the greatest mantra, which includes every mantra, is maha mantra. Yeah. Oh, my and that is the embrace. And there I want to, to offer you one, one poem I wrote for that. Actually, I, I Suniti told me if I could, uh, I will do some poems next, next time, because now I don't have it here, but I, just what I remember in my, in my heart is your sidelong glances embracing each other under waterfall on a lovely summer day and the sun shines in a silver sky and the moon smiles in a golden sky that's yeah. maha mantra that's this is clear. the meaning of maha mantra your cyclone clans is embracing each other radha and mohan are embracing each other with other words so that is Maha Mantra, a very, very deep embrace.
And this is the real embrace with love. How many times in this lifetime we heard, I love you, or how many times we, does, we said the same, I love you. But actually, if we have not in common one center, we cannot speak about love. It will turn out into lust. So love is the really real thing, and love is Mahamantra. This is for me the corporification, the personification of love, Mahamantra. Strong embrace from Radha and Mohan in between. A rainbow decorates the silver blue sky and heaven admires with an open eye. Fire of love in between the two. A lightning illuminates the scene. This is all Mahamantra. <laughs> that is his, my inspiration. Actually, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, what you hear now is not from me. Sorry. This is from her. <laughs> but Iran is doing everything. I, I, I'm good for nothing. I know that. I don't have to say it actually, but I know it. But this is happening. Brother Rani is so merciful, I cannot describe how merciful she is. Because that we can be here for so long time, everything arranged by her, everything, because Maha Mantra is acting. It is Radha. Radha is my goal. And Radha is my life. Riyadasi, you remember this? <laughs> Is he here? Riyadasi? So, my dears, that is a spontaneous, uh, really spontaneous feelings I, 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 I share with you. And I always like actually to listen. I, uh, actually, when I'm speaking, I also, I'm listening. And uh, Suniti, maybe you can, because next time I will, We'll, we'll, we'll write more, more of that poetry side. But now I, will, I, I share with you my experience with Maha Mantra. I have a lot of more, but many people are there. Many people want to talk. So I just give the word to my dear Suniti. That did I do. Radhe, thank you. So nice. Your experience with Maha Mantra and the the poetry that is inspired through your heart that you share that comes from this, you know, loving embrace of Radha Mohan, of Maha Mantra, which is happening, inspiring us to become ourselves the channel of love. Mm. So I like your idea, Raghunath Baya, that uh, for next time, next week sharing, we can make uh, one sharing about the poetry of the Vaishnavas, of the devotees who like to share something about uh, inspirations of, of poetry that comes through them that they have received or that they want to share. Jainanda Maharaj, are you also writing some poetry sometimes? Some Thank love you. poetry. Let your seva my excuse me, rather than me. Thank you. So beautiful. Yes, the Vaishnavas they have many qualities. They have many, many sweetest uh, miracles and treasures of the heart. And if we are lucky, they will reveal this to us. Thank you, Raghunath Baya. So hope to hear more of you next week for your uh, beautiful uh, songs and how they came about and what is the deeper meaning behind all the songs. Especially I want to also listen about uh, Forever 11 because that one is already a very famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I did> <laughs> 
Big hug. Yeah. Big hug. Yeah. 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 Jai Gurudev, now I want to introduce one more speaker. He's very eager to share. His name is Ujwala Prem Das. He is uh, living, uh, he's a Swedish Swedish uh, person by birth and he's living in England and uh, he is a friend of Jagatam uh, Jagatama Didi. Ujwala Prem Das, are you there? Aribo, Radi Radi. Aribo, Radi Radi. Nice to meet you all. Hey. You got it all the way around, Mataji. I live, I'm from England, but I live in Sweden. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> nice. So we are ready to listen from you. Please share something about your life. Ready, ready. Thank you so much for letting me share. I'm very humbled to be, I'm usually not a shy person. But I'm very humbled to be, I feel very humbled in your association. So many exalted devotees. Um, so my name is Ujvala Prem Das. I was given a name by uh, Srila Gurudev not so long ago. Um, so I'm from London and I've always been in contact with devotees. I was offered as a baby to ride a London Ishvara with mercy of the devotees. And my mom, before I was born, she lived in the Bhaktivedanta Manor and also in the London Temple. So I had the mercy of having some association when I was younger. And I moved into the temple. I lived in the Radha Krishna Temple in London for four years from when I was about 18 or 19. And I'd done full-time book distribution. And um, after this time, it was about four years in, and I was, I was aspiring for initiation then, but I felt in my heart, I felt it didn't feel, it didn't feel so right at the time. I felt like I realized now that my practice was very external. Like Maharaj says, it's, it was a very external practice. It wasn't so, it wasn't so deep. It was very, you know, get up in the morning program, do my, do my chapa, do my service, do my, and I didn't really go very deep into bhakti. Wow, that's how I feel. So I left the temple after four years and I came out and for, for many years I studied, I, I felt like I should study Guru Tattva. I felt like I should, I need to know what Guru Tattva is for me to know, for me to be able to find a guru and find, yeah, take initiation properly. So for many years I studied, I studied and I studied and I read lots of Vaishnav literature by Sridhar Maharaj, by Narayan Maharaj, by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada's books. I read and I read. I even, I spoke to some Ritvik, Ritvik devotees about Guru Tattva. In the end, after many years, I felt bewildered. I was completely bewildered. So at one point I broke down and I prayed to Srila Prabhupada and I prayed to Guru Nittai and I said, I can't do this. I don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I can't, I don't know about Guru Tattva. None of, none of my intelligence is helping me find my Guru. So please, please help me find my Guru Dev and some Rasik association. So then after that, I just, I went back into life. I have a family. This was around the time my son was born and I went back into life, you know, daily life, getting stuff done. And not long after that, I think it was within a short time after that, my mother rings me. My mom rings and she says, um, oh, there's this guru that I think um, you might know. I said, okay, or maybe I know him. And she said, yeah, I think you should listen to him. So I said, okay. Um, I thought maybe, maybe it was Von Maharaj or maybe it was, you know, some, some devotee like that. And she said, no, I don't think it's Von Maharaj. Um, but I'm going to send you a picture. And she sent me a picture of Gurudev. And, uh, and she said, his name is Sadhu Maharaj. I think you should look him up. So I was like, okay. 
So I looked up Maharaj. At the point, at that time, I had a lot of conflicts in my heart about, I was brought up in Iskon. I also spent a lot of time with a lot of Narayan Maharaj disciples after that. Um, a lot of time, our, a, a good friend of my family is uh, Jagatan Mataji. And we, she's been there from when I was very young. She gave me my first deity of uh, uh, Jagannath. And she gave me a little deity of uh, Hanuman also. And she's given us a lot of mercy. And it's like, I see her like, um, if you know, Gop Gopal Kumar in uh, Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. Every time he's in trouble, his Guru Maharaj, or he has some conflict, his Guru Maharaj pops up. So Jagatam Mataji has been like that for me and my family, me and my mom. She's very merciful to us. So I, I go onto YouTube and I look up uh, Sadhu Maharaj. And the first video that comes up is a video on conflicts. So I go into the video and he speaks so nicely about how we're one family in we're one Chaitanya's family. And he said a lot of stuff about um, we shouldn't be sectarian. We shouldn't be, you know, everybody. We should love all the Vaishnavas. We should love everybody. And it completely smashed everything, all the conflicts in my head. So after that, I, um, I spoke to Jagatam Mataji. And she, yeah, we had, we had a, we had a conversation and then she mercifully got me on a phone call with Sadi Maharaj. So I, I spoke to him. It was a day I went to work. I used to work early in the morning. So I, um, I told my boss, okay, I'm going to go and I have to have a phone call. I went into the company car and I spoke with Maharaj. It was only a, it was a seven minute phone call, but I mean, I asked him some questions. I remember I asked him, uh, what's the aim of uh, devotional service? And he told me, Srila Prabhupada told in the, in the intro, the fourth page of the, of the Bhagavad Gita. And uh, yeah, and I asked him some other questions about family life and stuff. And he answered so nicely. After that, it was seven minutes, the phone call. It felt like I was in Vrindavan. I came out and for the rest of the day, I was floating. I was, I was, wow, what just happened? I was just on the phone call to Vrindavan speaking. What, the, what just happened to me? I was flowing the whole day. The same day, the same day, my boss rings me in the evening and says, Simon, I have to have a conversation with you. So, okay, no problem. Went and had a conversation. He said, I'm so sorry. I have to, I have to let you go. We can't, yeah, it's COVID and we can't, um, we can't have so many staff. So I was like, okay, wow. At the time I was thinking, okay, it's Krishna's mercy, no problem. We'll see. The funny thing about that is a week after they were ringing me and begging me to come back to the job, which is funny. But um, like I said, okay, after that, no problem. I went after that in Sweden, we can go on parental leave. So I went on parental leave for a bit. Uh, and um, I, started, I started chanting a lot more. I, st I was coming onto the Zooms and I was speaking with Maharaj sometimes saying hello and uh, listening to all your guitar. Not that I'm... I don't really understand so much. So, but uh, hearing your guitar, it, uh, Srila Prabhupada says in one purport in the fourth canto of, um, he speaks about saffron particles coming from the Hari Qatar of the devotees. It's like the um, saffron particles from the lotus feet of the Lord. So I feel like your Hari Qatar, everybody, and Jayananda Prabhu, Jayananda Maharaj, Sadhu Maharaj, all the great devotees, your saffron particles has entered my heart and rearranged my life. From then, it's been quite miraculous. Of now, we literally so we've moved to another place in Sweden. We managed to buy a house here, which is more favorable for us. It's taken me away from any bad association. It's put me here. I have so much time to chant to do service. I prayed for some association and, and service. Now I'm overwhelmed. Right now, I'm, I'm doing book distribution. I've got in contact with um, the BBT in Sweden. So I have some books delivered in Swedish and I'm doing some book distribution here. I also, I'm in touch with, um, they have a Bhakti Zoom Saver team. This is quite miraculous. 
So um, I was listening. They do different programs. Um, some of Narayan Maharaj disciples. Um, it was for the centennial of Narayan Maharaj's uh, centennial, and they do some programs. So, um, I mean, somehow or other, I got in touch with Yashoda Nanda Prabhu, who organizes it. Now we've talked, and he's going to put me uh, in charge of uh, Gurudev Memories, which is Memories of Narayan Maharaj. Now, after, after January, we're going to be changing over to Gurudev Memories of all the Gurudevs and all the Acharyas of the past. So this is amazing for me because I prayed and prayed and prayed for to learn Guru Tattva and to get my Gurudev, and I've got so much mercy now and so much service. But I um, also wanted to share a li little something. It's all by your mercy, Gurudev and the Vaishnavas, all by your mercy, any of this happens. And by the holy name, like we just heard. So I wanted to share something about the saffron particles that I just mentioned. Um, Bhagavad Maharaj was speaking. Um, he asked, well, he said to Naraya Maharaj once that um, the saffron the saffron particles that come from the dust of the lotus feet of the Lord comes through the mouth of the pure devotees in Harikata. This color saffron, they are radha, right? This is why they're saffron. And Maharaj said, yes, that's right. And also um, another point connected is Gorgovinda Maharaj says the lotus flower uh, um, Jagatam Mataji explained this to me if I could say it right. The lotus, the um the lotus flower has um you can get a medicine from the pollen of the lotus flower that can cure your eyes, your your any um eyesight. It's very rare to find, but you can the substance in it, the pollen can cure your eyesight, like like Guru Maharaj, like a Guru Maharaj does. And um we know that um Radha was Radha was born from a lotus, so I was I was feeling the the saffron particles actually come from Sri Radha's Swamini's lotus feet out of the pure devotee's mouth and into our heart and impregnate our heart. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to all the Vaishnavas and please give me your mercy. And Radhe Radhe. Yeah. 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 Very nice with your friend. Very proud of you. Thank you, Guru. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing something of your heart, Ujjwala Prem, Prabhu. You're Thank very, you, Mataji, for uh, Lovely, beautiful, and enlivening personality, and we are so happy to have you. I'm Please so happy continue to, to share your heart. Please continue to open yourself. This is the conference for this. All the devotees are very inspired to listen. Yeah. I want to ask and uh, please, uh, my Dandavats also to Jagatamma. I ask her, please share something also because you are like also helping him to find this association. And it's so amazing how the modern technology is come, come, you know, bringing us all together. Thank oh, you. Absolutely amazing. Jai Suniti Ji, Jai Shiva Gurudev, and all the assembled devotees. <laughs> I feel shy and nervous uh, to speak, but it's... um. Sundiji asked me to say something, and then I remembered that there is something that I wanted to say, and I wanted to share it with Gurudev, but I think my shyness always prevents me, but so now you're giving me the opportunity. Um, thank you. One thing I wanted to say is that um, about Ujjwala Prem Prabhu is you know, we, we, we have a, a reading every every morning with um, a small group of devotees. And um, since his association with Shua Gurudev, he is just showing so much love. Um, he I feel that he's channeling that love that Shua Gurudev himself is channeling from Srimati Radhika. Because 
we we have a, a couple of WhatsApp groups, and one of them is called the Hidden Path Nectar Group. And so I was usually sharing something. No one else was sharing. But since Ujwala Prem came and he took initiation, now he's giving so much nectar to all of us. And this is how I feel like different things that he's reading and hearing, it's just flowing from him. And Gurudev Sadhumaraj, he, he always used the word flow, and he always talked about being in the flow, and this flow is Radhika's mercy. And so I see how um, Ujvala Prem, has, he's come into this flow now, and he's, he's giving that. He's giving the love of that flow to, to those of us in, in this group. And um, so, yeah, I just see and how we can be instruments of that flow. And, um, and I, I, I consider myself uh, just an instrument, you know, that I personally don't have anything really. But um, by the mercy of Srila Gurudev and mercy of my gurus, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Narayan Maharaj, and and also, and by the mercy of the devotees, um, I can be engaged also in bhakti and become an instrument of Shimati Radhika's love, which, um, as Ujwala was saying, I don't really understand so much. But one day I was at Munga Mandir. I had heard about Sadhu Maharaj from um, Vaishnav Maharaj, who used to come to my house and give Harikata, and he spoke about this person, Sadhu Maharaj, and he was speaking so much about him. And I said, I have to meet this person. So um, I, you know, I would spend time in Vrindavan often for many months at a time. And so one time I was living in the Seva Kunj area, and I would go to Mangalarti every morning at the Rup Sanatan Mandir. And I decided to walk over to Sadhu Maharaj's ashram and to hear his his kata. Uh, I could never call it a class because it was an experience of of Bhav. It was an experience of his Bhavs um, in his relationship with Srimati Radhika. And it 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 was so beautiful and it touched my heart so deeply that I just feel also that my life was changing. Um, and I remembered how Srila Prabhupada said, when the guru leaves the planet, either either that the devotee, the disciple will have come, made so much advancement that he'll be very strong in his bhakti and be following everything by the mercy of his Gurudev, or his Gurudev will send someone to him to help him along the path. So I had that experience. I was sent to, uh, well, so Shona Narayan Maharaj was sent to me, and great mercy, but he, he was always um, speaking about Radha Dasyam. And whenever we went on Parikrama to all the places in Braj Mandala, he would say, bow your head into the dust of this place and pray for Radha Dasyam. But I did not understand what he was talking about, but I did what he told me to do. I prayed, but the, 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 the prayer was more uh, external. But anyway, I was being obedient, and I was praying for Radha Dasyam in the dust of the Holy Dhams and all the special places. And um, so, because of some circumstances happening in my life at the time when I was with Narayan Marsh, I, I wasn't able to uh, actually fully uh, receive what he was given. And then, um, so then I met Shua Sadhu Maharaj, um, and again, my, my life changed in a very, very deep way. And um, I remember speaking to Sadhu Maharaj at Munga Mandir outside in the courtyard area, outside the temple room. And I asked him a question. I'm trying to remember what that question was now. Um, Oh, sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> It'll come to me later. But the answer that he gave to me was full of so much love that it went very, very deep in my heart. And I, I, I felt like I literally experienced Radhika's love at that moment. 
So Sadhu Maharaj captured my heart. And um, even though I, I keep myself a little bit distant, I don't make so much endeavor to reach out. I, I, I just feel that, well, I pray that he's always with me, but he always says that he is with me. And I remember one time when I had to leave Munga Mandir and, um, and I was on my way back to England and I was sitting in the airport and for four hours, I, I could not stop the tears that were coming from my eyes because I was feeling so much separation from Sadhu Maharaj. And I called him on the phone and he gave me some words of love and encouragement. So I'm, I, I feel um, unlimitedly grateful to my Guru Devs, the Guru Parampara, and to Shua Sadhu Maharaj. And uh, I remember hearing uh, Jayananda Prabhu's um, story from some that he spoke years ago. Um, he also was a disciple, a Diksha disciple of Narayan Maharaj. And but when he met Sadhu Maharaj, he he felt his whole life become empowered. And now we see, you know, so many thousands of devotees coming in Japan, and this is all by the mercy of Sri Guru. So um, I'm just a small devotee, but somehow I'm feeling that love also in my heart. So thank you so much, Srila Gurudev. Um, thank you, Suniti, for giving me the opportunity to speak. Oh, oh. You are my mother. <laughs> Why you have to do anything? Children have to do for you. We will do for you. You do not. We are always with you. Yeah, Mama. Thank you, Gurudev, because... Thank you. And one thing I want to say, that we are only small servants of Mahajan. Mahajan Gata Supanta, what Prabhupada so, what Narayan Maharaj so, we are little at. Our service to clean that road, that all right now I can do on night. That was the time when Prabhupada gave mercy. He want to say, but we are not ready to know that. So he gave us everything there, but he didn't leave. I also understand, but I understand when I go my bhajan deep, I say, wow, miracles, Prabhupada writing. Bhagavad Gita, what is there to find other in other books? And Srimad Bhagavad Chaitanya Tamrita is a nectar. Who cannot, who can say that I am traveling in the Western world without Prabhupada? Impossible. <laughs> he is based on Prabhupada. He is under the center of Prabhupada. And he is doing the cleaning, road cleaning job, what Prabhupada is doing. Understand, and second thing, Narayan Maharaj and Prabhupada is the brother, God brother. And he do his job very greatly. But we are not ready to go more deep in. So he give me to clean that road that you can see more this this is their their service i'm doing there is nothing i knew anything and when i see that they are all in the service of radha in their siddha there so they are one goal of life 
बड़ी से प्रभु भाजी जो सखा भागवत गीता last word is pleasure giving potency and this is the name of prabhu the last word of he say everything but he write pleasure giving potency if you realize everything will become easy to understand then can you see is also is mentioned about the wolf and buddhi yoga buddhi yoga is an avenue assigned with krishna then maharaj when you we slowly but slowly the ultimate goal um what is When I sign Krishna, I am following Krishna. Then oh, what is alternative goal? Ultimate goal. What is that? Hmm. Yeah. But Prabhu Bhad right not. If I have no intelligence to understand, he is not mistake. He right is. <coughs> Whoever try to search, we think, oh, Krishna is the goal. I know little Krishna is all done. It's a no. When you sign this agreement, that you not disagree, and you have nothing to know more about that, because you are buying now, you taking this. Then what? You reach slowly, but slowly, the ultimate goal. <laughs> this meaning, this sense. Just a short sentence to this. There can be many, many goals in life, right? But you cannot have many ultimate goals. You only can have one ultimate goal. That's it. Radhe Radhe. So beautiful. Thank you, Jagat Kandidi. <laughs> Thank you, Gurudev. Maharaj, Sridhar Maharaj, Anandas Baba Ji, all is talking same thing. Eh, but ready to listen? They are talking. <laughs> Now we are ready for understanding. They talk on that level. There must you see that? But they are all navigator. They are not a goal. The day you think that he is, the guru is the goal, is the Maya Vastu. All is finished, kaput. Bhakti will never come. Brahma Gyan can come. <laughs> Gyan can be come. Maya Vastu is Brahma Gyani, Gyani Yogi. Prabhupada say first line, Bhakti will never come. Guru is never goal. Guru is the way for the goal. Guru 
Guru is never good. Prabhupada is the way for the goal. Narayan Maharaj is the way for the goal. Without that way, we cannot reach to the goal. So all Vaishnava and Mahajan, we have no understanding that they we our bhajan will be elevated, all realization will be. They are so merciful, so merciful, how they work hard for the preparatory school, for the first class, equipped class, 10th level, graduate level. They all prepared for the level, wise classes in the bhakti line. That you grow nicely and reach to the highest for the frame prayers. Frame prayers. Goal is a frame prayers. Mm -hmm. Why Prem Bhajan? Why not Krishna? Are you, what is the use of your bhakti if you have no love for Krishna? So Prem Bhajan. What is the use of Braja Bhav if you have no bhakti in a Braja living? Braja Bhav is not there. Prem is in Bhajan. Where my love can grow, that is my goal of life. how to concentrate and see in every place Sanatan Rup and Sanatan Siksha. Jananda Maharaj is explaining this more details, one book. In Sadak Deha, how to prepare ourselves? What is the teaching of Rup and Sanatan Siksha, meaning of that? If my sadhak deha is not rightly prepared, how we will go to Rupa and Raghunath Sikshna? Right? Dhananda Maharaj, you are thinking for this? Uh, yes, yeah. Guru Deha. I try to humbly, <laughs> humbly <laughs> attempt to, to do something. It's a very beautiful book, Vilkan. how to do in sadhak deha to live and how to practice in sadhak deha for siddha deha. You know, I'm a very foolish and murkha. I have no writing, I cannot write. So, by the grace of all great Vaishnava, all will happen. They are all your family, you see. You know him from long time, everyone. Right, Amat? Only I, nothing I, I am teaching them. Only I say, one make Rup and Sanatha and who Rup and Raghunath. It's, it's critical also, say like that. Rup Sanatha means how to tap the Sambandha. In Rup and Sanatan, in Sadak Deha and Siddha Deha, what is the relation? How works? And in Siddha Deha and Sadak Deha, what is to Payojan? What is to do? Two things, right or not? Nothing else. Yeah, yeah, he talked. Sorry, today I'm disturbing on the but So, Jainan Maharaj, uh, share with us. You are all so capable, you don't know your, your realizations. So, I'm only glorifying Vaishnava, you see. Because you are capable. You are, you can do the miracles. 
by the grace of the mercy of my Swami. You are an instrument. You are not doing, she is doing through you. That to see. Say, Radhe. For what? Radhika has only one goal, how to please his lover, naughty lover. And we are the Dasi to help her, how they can live together, be happy together. This is our service. She feels happiness when she meets his lover. And okay, his lover is the same. Whole life I give for his lover. I don't know before that. Before I know that he is a supreme. But here Narayan Maharaj says, no, 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 he is not supreme. He is Narva like a human. Now what to do? I have to think supreme only like a human. Think on that. <laughs> These are the things to, to research and deep go. Then he, when a small child, the mother teeth don't touch. Is it is it? You will burn your heart. And my child, child does not understand that my eye, uh, hand will burn because it's red. He wants to play with the fire. Then he, she, she makes so much fear that they believe it. So what Prabhupada do? They to connect our covered soul con uh, consciousness that I will bring you to Supreme, what you are bothering for. So he gives the way for coming out from that. And when Narayan Maharaj see, you, yeah, we are start moving for that, then he said, no, no, he's like you, human. Now you see what a beauty, what a full thing he said. Why he is supreme? Because he can be a, like me, to love and exchange. So he is supreme. If he cannot be like me and exchange love, then why, what is the meaning of that God? Many gods are there, but not they do like you. <laughs> Very rasa. Every subject is full of prasa, my dear. Why he is supreme? Because he can be ready to become cow, boy. He is ready to be unacquitted, ready to make queen to Radhika, and he becomes the policeman, the guard, gatekeeper of that. This is the supremacy of the beauty of love. Hmm. Constable. Constable. He is ready to be a constable of Braja Vrindavan. Protected, protector of the Vrindavan. This is the beauty of him. Right or not? Right. Not me. But if you say in beginning to someone, he will not understand. But who practice, and then he knows this beauty, then he more mad in love. So they are very tricky. Krishna Bhakta, Moe Bado Chatur, they are very, very intelligent. How to easily, slowly, slowly bring to the Rasik. So they are doing great job for us.
महाजन दे आर महाजन दता सुपंथा व्हाट महाजन डू दे आर ग्रेट सॉरी दिस इज नॉट टुडे इज माय जॉब बट यू टच माय हार्ट आई शेयर उज्ज्वला प्रेम एंड यू टच माय थैंक यू Thank you. Is it time over? Maybe next. Our Aarti start of our Nipur. <laughs> Thank you, Gurudev. You are so kind. Your heart is so soft and so sweet. No. By all of your association, it's becoming soft. I was very fallen soul, very useless person. But by your mercy and association, maybe something can happen that Radha Rani will accept me. Her darshan, bless me. is not a preaching platform this is a platform for lovers to try to develop anurag loving exchange with radhas krishna for them and this is the platform your platform that you can bring more and more and share the mercy of mahajans that wonderful thank you all for sharing your hearts thank you also gurudev for giving your particles of saffron lotus pollen on our heads and in our heart and please keep on sharing and come back next wednesday and uh let's meet again here under the umbrella of love thank yeah. you thank you dev jai vasnamata